to celebrate with you the success of the Canadian, but more particularly the Ontario Tamil community. And I'm proud to stand here as the leader of Ontario's New Democratic Party. Uh, it's been a fantastic journey, as uh, Nathan mentioned, uh, but one that I'm very, very proud of. You know, our party only a, a few short weeks ago elected one of your own, one of our own, Nathan Shan, as our party president. And we're so very proud to have been able to do so. And it's a very important step forward for New Democrats and for the Tamil community, in my opinion, because this is not just about Nathan. Although I'm thrilled to have him as our president, as you can tell, and you all probably know even more than I what a fantastic uh, contribution he is to our party. But it's about what it says about the involvement and the engagement of the Tamil community in our public life. With people like Nathan leading the way, you have no greater ally or committed advocate in Ontario than the New Democrats. You know, at our convention in my hometown of Hamilton earlier this month, it was not only Nathan who was being elected as our president, but it was also record numbers of, of Tamil delegates that came to that convention and participated in all parts of our weekend and all levels of our party. You are helping to enrich and make more vital our political party and at the same time enrich politics in this province. And I look forward to meeting many of, more of you this evening and in, in other uh, events and other opportunities and to work with leaders of your community in Ontario for the months and years to come to make our province a better place to live for all of us. As business leaders, as entrepreneurs, as people from charity organizations, as volunteers, you all make an enormous contribution to making Ontario a stronger, more diverse, more dynamic economy. You want to see a prosperous province where those who succeed are rewarded without leaving others behind. Like so many Ontarians, you want to see a province where, where you're from or what you look like doesn't matter. Where you're judged on your hard work, your contribution to society and your values. You know, as well as being very uh, successful business people and volunteers, at the heart of what you do, and what we all do, is to make life better for our families, for our loved ones. You may be parents of children who are at school or university, or you may have parents who are nearing their retirement and may have a little bit extra help needed nowadays. And that's why, as New Democrats, we've been working in recent weeks to make Ontario's budget a little more fair for everyone. We understand that a budget that balances its books is extremely essential, but that that must be done in a balanced way. And that's why we told the Liberal government that they must make life fairer for our children, for our seniors, and those in our province who need our help. Now these were not easy decisions, as you can well imagine. And make no mistake, this was not, at the end of the day, an NDP budget. But I don't think very many of you wanted an election. That's certainly what I heard from most Ontarians. You wanted to see us, your politicians, actually roll up our sleeves and focus on your challenges. To protect good jobs, to ensure good schools for our children and our hospitals when we need them, when we become ill. You wanted us to act like grown-ups in this process and not squabbling kids. And that's what we as New Democrats did. We said that asking those over earning, that were earning over $500,000 a year to pay a little bit more was a reasonable thing to do. We made sure there was money to fund desperately needed childcare places in the GTA and across the province. We said there needed to be extra funding for healthcare services in the places where it was most needed. And the government has agreed to all of these proposals, as you know. And we're going to make sure that they keep those promises. We're also going to keep fighting for good jobs in Ontario. As employers and job creators yourself, you understand the need to make smart investments. If you have only a few dollars, you have to invest them wisely. 
And that's why during the last campaign, we proposed tax relief be directed at the companies that are actually creating jobs and tax cuts for small business. Because we all know that small business plays a significant role in job creation in this province. We think that that's reasonable, that that's fair, and that's the kind of policy that we need to get more people back to work in Ontario. If families are that's good news for them, and even better news for businesses who need customers and need money flowing in our economy to be able to prosper. New Democrats are looking forward to working with many of you as we strengthen the enduring values of fairness, equality, and justice that unite every one of us in this province. An Ontario that promises a fair, to be a fairer place to raise your family, to grow your business, and build the communities that keep our province strong. I want to congratulate the members of the Board of Directors, uh, the, the staff, the volunteers, all of the members of the Tamil Chamber of Commerce, and all of the, the de guests here tonight. I'm sure it'll be a fantastic evening. I have to admit to you, I won't be able to stay for the entire, uh, the entire night, but I do want to say I look forward to coming again and spending more time with you. Uh, we've got a fantastic group here tonight. I'm so impressed with the turnout. Uh, congratulations to everyone. Have a fantastic evening. I should also acknowledge that there are other MPPs, MPs and dignitaries in the room. Uh, all of you have a, a fantastic evening. It's been my pleasure to join you for a few minutes and hopefully for much, much more time over the coming months and, and years. Thanks so much. Have a good night. Thank you very much, Andrea, for your kind words, and also for recognizing the Chamber's commitment, continued commitment and support in encouraging professional development and entrepreneurship uh, within the Tamil community. So let's give the Chamber a round of applause. They've uh, done themselves yet again this year. So the success of any organization